so rich setting. Yeah. So suspension is so soft. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, crash. Big crash, big crash. Someone's rolling. Oh. It's under <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do another vlog style. I've got a pretty cool meetup that's about to happen. We're heading down to Daikoku to see probably my favorite NSX on Instagram. The owner who I've been chatting with a little bit on and off over Instagram, he's gonna be down there today and uh, he invited me to come and see his car and also to take it for a spin. So really looking forward to going to check it out. You know, the NSX is one of my favorite cars, maybe my favorite car ever especially the original uh, NA1, NA2. I've kind of always wanted to have one in the future and uh, I've driven only one before. It was an automatic, it was fully stock. It didn't really captivate me in the way I was like, wow, I'm driving, you know, a Japan supercar type of sports car feeling. It, it was quite soft suspension and automatic gearbox. It sounded good when you got into like the higher RPM, but this car, it's uh, pretty well built uh, by the looks of it. It's a manual. Uh, you know, sporty suspension and things. So this to me feels like a proper chance to feel what an NSX NA1 can really do. Go and see it in person. It's black, which is my favorite color for the car. Give the NSX, you know, this will probably dictate what I think of the NSX going forwards because this is how I would sort of build it. And uh, it's not fully stock, so we can kind of get the best out of the car. So uh, let's go and see how it is, check it out and looking forward to it. So let's go. So we'll be going there in the BMW. You guys probably remember from a couple videos back, this is my 135 2011. We've just hit 50,000 Ks on the clock. So I've put on about 7,000 Ks since we got it. It's done pretty nice in the last sort of six, seven months that I've had it. Just a super solid all round daily slash fun sports car type of feel. So looking forward to getting back into something a bit more JDM tonight though. So let's go and hit it. arrived thought I'd park next to my BMW counterpart here this Supra but uh, I guess he bounced didn't like the company so now we got a free spot next to us let's go and find where damn hurricane here let's go and see where um, the NSX is maybe he's here maybe he's not here yet but there's a lot of stuff to see so let's go and check it out Hey guys, we've made it to Daikoku. I'm now here with uh, Genzo san and his brother, the owners of the two NSXs. Thank you very much for uh, meeting me. Yeah, appreciate it a lot. Yeah. So uh, I think we'll start with the uh, NA1. Yes. Uh, maybe if you'd tell me a little bit about how long you've had the car and uh, if you've done anything to it. I own this car about seven years. Seven years, Yes. Okay. Uh, nice. What's the year, like Nenshiki? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Mileage, basic info okay. like that. This car is 1990. 1990? Okay. Model. Yes. Yes. Very first. Yes. Yeah. And mile is uh, over 20. Okay. 210. 210. 210. Thousand kilometer. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you drive a lot, huh? <laughs> yes. Very, very old car. <laughs> right, right, right. When you bought it, Okay. 167 yeah, okay. yes, yes, yes. So you did, uh, how, what's it now? 210, did you say? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you did like uh, 40,000, 40,000, yes, yes. yeah. That's a lot of driving. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I drive only weekend. Ah, 
okay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Mary is a uh, little. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit every year. Uh, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> nice. All right, so here's the NA1. And uh, Genzo-san, you were saying you did some custom tuning to this car. What uh, kind of things did you do? Okay, so yes. This car uh, is light tune. Light tune, okay. Uh, okay, can you check? Yeah, let's check, let's check. Okay. Alcantara steering wheel yes. and uh, Alcantara seat. Yes, uh, Recaro. Recaro, Alcantara. Both are the bucket seat. Both are the same. Looks pretty nice in here. Well, 200,000 kilometer mileage, but interior looks good still. Very uh, yes. like fresh. Uh, okay. Yeah. Because when I bought uh, seven years ago, I changed the uh, whole interior. Oh, oh really? Yes, okay. Pretty fresh. Yes. Like uh, OEM. Uh, original parts Honda uh, uh, dealer car. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. So he bought all the uh, original OEM parts from Honda and uh, refreshed the whole interior. That's why it looks so good. And uh, that's a good move. I think. Awesome. All right. Thank you very much for the introduction. Uh, actually, <laughs> last question is the wheels. Did they come on the car? T E three T E three Sun Sun Nana. Yeah. Fantastic. Jibun de tsuketa? Yes, of course. Yep. Good, good choice. Good choice. <laughs> change, change. Change exhaust. Oh, yeah. Change, change. Let's have a look. So we have a custom exhaust as well. Blue tips. I'll find out what that is later. We've just finished the walk around of the NA1, and coming up now we have the NA2 with Shinsan behind me here, and uh, we're gonna park the NA1 here. One crazy thing about the NA2 is it's a Type R and it's black. This is super rare. Like, I don't know how many units there are of that, but it's the first one I've seen in person. Let's check out the NSX. We're about to line them both up together. This is crazy. This is crazy. NA1 next to the NA2. Okay, it 
it's kind of custom and then you put it back to original. Yeah, yeah, nice. That's great because Type R is pretty special to keep it original, right? <laughs> That's great. Let's have a little walk around this car. So is there anything custom still on the car now? Oh, okay. Brembo brakes. Brakes are not original. And anything else? Suspension. Oh, okay. Suspension. Oh, the bushing has changed. Yeah, okay. So I made it more stiff, maybe. So suspension and bushings changed. So, yeah, intake, muffler, quite a few things. So, nice. but some nice parts added. All right guys, time to test out the NA1. Let's uh, take it onto the road. E course, I should think of this car. Yes. <laughs> and a wiper. About 50 minutes. 15 minutes, okay. Uh. So I'm super excited to drive the NA1 because uh, I only drove it one time before in automatic, so finally manual time. Slow speed there. Hmm, you guys talk Karui, ne?
Yeah. So this is the V6 3 litre, right? Mm. And the NA2 V6 3.2 litre. A lot of the Italian cars in the 90s were always like breaking down a lot and hard to drive. Oh. And kind of hard to own, but this car must have been just so, feels so different because you, you have a sports car, a supercar, but you can do like daily driving, no problem. And it's a Honda, so you, you know, it's not gonna break like a Ferrari or something. So that's, uh, yeah, really revolutionary at the time. driving the NA1. Thank you again for Thank letting us car. take that for a spin. And uh, yeah, fantastic. It was a lot of fun. Looking forward to the NA2 now. Let's go. Mm.
<笑> NA1 NA1 NA2 なるほどその NA1 タイプはあの NA1 は2つも2つの,あの,のノーマルスタンダードが NA6 ですごいジャンプしたね<笑> NA2 の R <笑>これはこれはすごいことです<笑>すごいThat's a wrap on the NSX test back to back. Just some final thoughts. Like I drove a fully stock NA1 back in the day. 
wasn't super impressed by it, but uh, after driving the NA1, I was like, this time I was like, wow, I'd love to have this car. And then after driving the NA2 Type R, man, it's like, totally different animal that thing it, it's crazy it, it does not even feel like the same car to be honest so now i don't even know if i want an na1 because i know what i'd be missing out on <laughs> so it's a lot to think about super appreciative of those two guys for letting us film today both shinsan and genzo san and uh can't wait for this video to come out and see all the edit come together i think we took some cool photos and videos today yeah what an amazing opportunity it's two cars i really wanted to drive before and back to back like that I, I actually didn't expect it you know before we started the video today i thought we were just doing the na1 but the na2 type r came as well so real bonus thanks everyone for watching let us know if there's any other cars that are on your list for things you want to see uh, it's raining a bit now so i have to head back can't film too much else here um, but thank you for watching again and uh, catch you in the next one thanks everyone for watching please like and subscribe and uh, feel free to leave a comment down below stay tuned for the next video